Subscribe and click the like icon. The yellow crested cockatoo. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a journey ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, do you want to play musical statues? When the music plays, you dance. But when the music stops, you have to stop immediately. Okay, remember, when I stop the music, you have to freeze. Well done, Hero. Now it's my turn. You control the music. Hey, what's this? I win. I win. Oh, it can talk. <laughs> Did you hear that too? The bird said something. Maybe it's a parrot. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Wow, look at the feathers on its head. <laughs> Hi, Katie. So did you find anything? Hi, Leo. The bird you found is indeed a parrot. And this one is called a yellow-crusted cockatoo. It gets its name because of the yellow feathers, or crown, on its head. The cockatoo will raise those feathers on its head whenever it's surprised, or when it tries to impress others. The yellow-crusted cockatoo originally comes from parts of Indonesia and East Timor. Nowadays, they live in a few more places. Some people have yellow-crusted cockatoos as pets, but their real homes are tropical forests and open woodlands. There, they eat things like seeds, fruits, and flowers. Unfortunately, there aren't many of these birds left. That's so sad. We should protect it by taking it back to its original home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs, Leo. Easier to walk here. Okay, Leo. Okay, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cockatoo, where are you going? There are seeds and berries on the ground. I wonder who left them here. Look, it continues all the way. <gasps> Leo, it's a trap. Cockatoo, stop. <laughs> oh, no. Don't worry, Cockatoo. We'll get you out. Leo, it's a Komodo dragon. Hero, Komodo dragons are very dangerous. Their bites are venomous, so stay away from him. Leo, can you open it? The Komodo dragon is approaching. I can't. It's stuck. Open it, but I won't leave you, bird. Katie, hold on. That was close. Almost. There, you're free, bird. Free, bird. Free, bird. So, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the cockatoo a home, just listen for other wild cockatoos. Not for two kangaroos or pink ballet shoes, but listen for other wild cockatoos. I see. So not for two kangaroos or pink ballet shoes, but listen, listen for, for other, other wild, wild cockatoos. cockatoos. Thank you, Ranger 
Rocky? Okay, hero. To find the cockatoo a home, you have to listen for other wild cockatoos. Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be other wild cockatoos. Is that the screeching of wild cockatoos? Hmm, no, those are owls hooting. So let's continue. Is this the sound of wild cockatoos? I don't think so. That sounds like monkeys. So let's move on. Do you hear that? Does that sound like the screeching of wild cockatoos? It does! I think we found a home for the cockatoo. Good job, hero. We're coming over. Look, Katie, the cockatoo is dancing again. Bye bye, cockatoo. Bye bye, bye, -bye cockatoo. Bye bye, cockatoo. We did it. We found a home for the yellow crested cockatoo. Good job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! We found a yellow crested cockatoo in our garden. We learned that yellow crested cockatoos can talk and that they like to dance and move. People like to keep them as pets, but cockatoos really belong in the wild. So we found a new home for the cockatoo. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Dawn Bat. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time, buddy. Look, it's starting to bloom. It's beautiful. Now I will draw it. Look, Hero, my very first drawing of a night blooming plant, the water lily. Oh, night blooming plants are plants with flowers that open only at night. Let's look for more night-blooming plants to draw. Hmm, what's that over there? Come on, everybody, let's have a look. That's not a plant, it's a bat. I wonder what kind of bat this is. Do you think it wants to drink our blood? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So, what kind of bat is it? Hi, Leo. The bat you found is a dawn bat, which is also known as the cave nectar bat. It drinks nectar, not blood. And nectar is the sugary liquid found in plants, right? That's right. But this bat prefers nectar from night-blooming flowers. It also feeds on pollen. That's the powdery stuff on flowers. When these flowers bloom, they have a very strong smell that attracts the bats. But why was that bat behaving so strange earlier? Dawn bats are nocturnal, which means they are active during the night. You must have frightened it with the flash when you took the photo. Oh no! I'll make sure to switch off the flash next time. Where does it come from? Dawn bats live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Should we return it to its home? There aren't enough dark places for it to rest here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the bat would love that. Let's go.
going, little bat? Which way did it go? It was too fast to see. Katie, take the wheel. I'll search for the bat with my sound detector while you drive. Good idea, Leo. Now let's see. It's this way. Turn here, Katie. Can you see anything? No, but... It smells weird here. Mmm. I find it quite nice. It's coming from there. Lead the way, hero. Ugh. The smell is getting stronger. It's the dawn bat. It must have been hungry. Look, it's feeding from that flower. Hey, is that a night-blooming plant? This flower is part of the durian tree. And you're right, Leo. The flowers blossom only at night. Are you ready to join us, Dawn Bat? Careful, Leo. See those sharp, spiky things up there? Those are durian fruits. When the durians are ripe, they fall down, so don't stand too close. Thanks for the warning, Katie. At least we found the bat, but I think we're lost. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the home of the Dawn Bat, just look for glowing lights, not for colorful kites or shiny nights, but look for glowing lights. I see. So not for colorful kites or shiny nights, but look for the glowing lights. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the home of the Dawn Bat, you have to look for glowing lights. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the Dawn Bat's home. Can you see what those are? Correct! Those are birds, not Dawn Bats. Let's continue. Hey, what are those? I see. Those are fireflies. They are the glowing lights. Let's follow them. Can you see what is up ahead? That's right! It's a cave! It must be the Dawn Bat's home! Great work, Hero! We're coming over! Look! Both the fireflies and the bats feed from the flowers on the trees! Goodbye, little Dawn Bat! We did it! We found the Dawn Bat's home! Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! Today, we found a dawn bat in our garden. We learned that the dawn bat feeds on night-blooming flowers and lives in caves in large groups. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Equatorial Spitting Cobra. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. I wonder where that frog is going. Let's follow it too. Careful, Hero. You'll scare the frog away. Huh? Something else is hidden inside the bush? Ah! A snake! Better keep a distance, Hero. It's a snake in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Yikes! Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cobra you found is an equatorial spitting cobra, also known as a black spitting cobra. 
It is called a spitting cobra because it is able to shoot venom from its fangs. Venom is a toxin, like poison, and is found in some animals such as cobras. Venom can be passed to a person or another animal through a bite or sting. Many cobras defend themselves by injecting venom through their bite, but a spitting cobra prefers to spit or spray venom at a predator's eyes to scare them away. The spitting cobra wiggles its head the same way your eyes move. This helps the cobra's aim when it sprays its venom. That's scary! Actually, spitting cobras are shy animals. They only attack when they feel threatened. Still, equatorial spitting cobras can shoot venom up to three meters away, so it's best to keep your distance. I'll make sure to remember that, Katie. Equatorial spitting cobras live in different forests in Southeast Asia, where they eat small animals like lizards, frogs, and rats. Hmm, I don't think it's safe for us to be near the spitting cobra. We should return the cobra to its natural home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a special friend with you today. Here, you'll need these if you're going to be near that spitting cobra. Glasses? Safety glasses, Leo. The venom from spitting cobras can harm your eyes. That's why it's very important to wear these glasses for protection. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky. What's wrong with the cobra? The spitting cobra is getting into a defensive pose. Why does it keep flicking its tongue? Spitting cobras have a very good sense of smell. They use their tongues to pick up scents in the air. Do you think it might have picked up the scent of a predator? <laughs> <gasps> they don't look very friendly. They are mongooses. It says here that the mongoose is the cobra's natural predator. Did you see that? The cobra sprayed venom at that mongoose, but the mongoose looks fine. It says here the mongoose is resistant or immune to cobra venom. That means cobra venom has no effect on the mongoose. What do we do now? We're surrounded. I'll clear a path for us. Thanks, Katie. Hold on tight, everyone. Phew, that was close. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the spitting cobra's home, just look for a hole near a stream, not for a red laser beam or a bucket of ice cream, but look for a hole near a stream. I see. So not for a red laser beam or a bucket of ice cream, but, but look, look for, for a, a hole, hole near, near a, stream. a stream. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the spitting cobra's home, you have to look for a hole near a stream. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the spitting cobra's home. Could this be the spitting cobra's home? Hmm, this hole already belongs to an owl. Carry on, Hero. Is this log the spitting cobra's home? No, another animal lives inside. Let's continue. 
What's this? There's a stream, and there's an empty hole under a rock. This seems like a good home for the cobra. Great work, hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the spitting cobra's home. Great job, everyone. Yay! <laughs> found an equatorial spitting cobra in our garden. We learned that the spitting cobra can spray venom when threatened. That's why it's best to keep a safe distance from the spitting cobra. So we went to the forest and brought it to its natural home, far away from other humans. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.